Hello and welcome to a new episode of Simple Cryptocurrency Reviews presented by Cryptos Chain. And today I would like to present you a project on the ontology blockchain called Spox. Now this project is still under development so they're not deployed to the ontology blockchain yet but it is going to happen pretty soon. Now let's get into the details on their website Spox.com. Now what is Spox? a community-powered film and TV blockchain ecosystem. View, vote, fund, and support your favorite media projects in a decentralized ecosystem and marketplace. And we can see that they've just ended their pre-sale and they've got a token sale. This is not financial advice. I'm only reading what is on the website. So one SPKZ, which is the token symbol, the ticker symbol, sorry for the token, is worth eight cents in USD at the moment. Empowering viewers with Asia's largest film and TV ICO. The problem, now large studios with self-serving agendas and their middlemen are imposing their choice of content on viewers and charging them exorbitantly for it. It's time to challenge the status quo. This is exacerbated by distribution, platforms being transactional with no room for community engagement. And the solution, Spox is letting the viewer decide what content works and at what price by giving him or her access to a decentralized ecosystem and marketplace. By crowdfunding and helping promote movies and TV shows, viewer communities will join producers, content creators, distributors, stars, and advertisers as equal stakeholders. Spox and Ontology, the strategic collaboration. Spox and Ontology come together in a deeper strategic relationship where Spox will integrate on the ontology ecosystem. This horizontal platform will focus on identifying and targeting key media assets that can be brought on the, on, onto the ontology platform and integrated into Spox community. Ontology's public chain basic services, high performance customizable blockchain framework and smart contract tool SmartX and other technologies can be deeply integrated into the Spox platform. This will enhance mutual trust amongst movie creators, advertisers, and movie fans. At the same time, scenarios such as human and object multi-factor identification and authentication, as well as distributed data collaboration and exchange can create comprehensive personal profiles and improve precise targeting and enable advertising information to reach people who really need it. As a result, data and transactions will be more transparent we can increase user sharing revenues and ensure fair and reasonable transparent transactions to movie producers. Now they've done some interviews. Um, one is with Subin Subaya, global CEO at Spox, speaking about the creation of Spox and how it will transform the future of media and entertainment industry. So please do have a look at that if you're interested. Also a few more interviews um, talking about the token economics. Um, determining the future of a decentralized movie ecosystem as well and media crowdfunding and community partnerships partnerships powered by spokes tokens now i feel spool's issuance of spox is a game changer spox presents that rare opportunity to collaborate with a like-minded audience to create and support shows with a soul through spox we will be able to better connect with Spol's user base and build an OTT play for kids. That's what the CEO of Tunes is saying at Animation Media, Animation India. Now, uh, let's see, let's see. Oh yes, we do have some important feedback from the founding partner at Neo Global Capital as well. So I love disruptive innovation, Spox, Spox's visionary idea of changing the way films are created, funded and distributed, creates an entirely new market and value network for the film industry. Spox will displace the way the film industry operates and decentralizing the power of what to build and fund the end users in an affordable and efficient manner. We've got Spox by Spool, the pioneering video streaming company, mature VOD OTT platform, 60 million wallets, content hungry and vocal community. So launched in 2012, Spool is a leading Singapore based over the top OTT provider with offices in Mumbai, Dubai, Sydney and Auckland. Over 60 million users in 180 countries enjoying a huge library of Asian content. 60,000 transactions pass through Spol's users' secure wallets every day. Spol attained nearly $14 million in revenue in 2017, projected to double every year over the next three years. The company has already been seeded 
uh, U, um, 10 million US dollars by the founders. Spool made Asian entertainment a breeze to consume for everyone. With Spox, everyone becomes a part of an influential community. And we can see that we can download it on the App Store. So Spox by Spool can be downloaded on the App Store. Giving voice to content creators, viewers, and fans. Now, what is the purpose? So, Spox tokens remove the friction from content creation, distribution, and monetization, enabling fans and creators to become collaborators. Engage to earn, rate, share, and review movies and TV shows to earn Spox tokens from the ecosystem. Now, this is absolutely awesome because we have seen many people reviewing movies and they don't receive anything, you know, or TV shows, for example. So yes, Spox is going to change that, guys. This is really, really good. Stream, shop, and switch. Spend tokens to stream premium content. Shop at partner stores or convert Spox to Bitcoin or Ethereum. Also, be a producer. Crowdfund movies and TV series seamlessly via the blockchain. Also, connect and belong. Be a part of a premier global entertainment community. Now, the mature user base, millions of wallets, most ICOs offer plans and promises. We offer a proven infrastructure and millions of paying users. Now, the Spool ecosystem today already has a secure wallet for fiat currencies, which allows users to top up and receive top ups from others. Our customers use it to make 1.8 million transactions every month in 15 currencies. Spox will be adding blockchain support so that the wallets will accept ERC-20 based tokens like Spox. Even non-subscribers will be able to use the wallet for community peer exchanges and to participate in the crowdfunding marketplace. Now, let's have a look. So, this is a design of how their platform and the ecosystem looks like. So you'll be able to go on the crypto exchange, buy and sell Spox tokens. You can sell the tokens on the exchange. Um, you can buy them on the exchange and we can see the investors of the crypto world, the new users, new communities, Spool users. We've got the airdrop, we've got the content platform, content production, social commerce and others. Um, yes, this is how it's going to look. This is pretty much right. Let's have a look further down. Spock's token model and team setup. So Q4 of 2017, that's when that started. Um, in Q3 of 2018, we've got the TGE, 75 million users. And in Q4 of 2018 is going to be the first batch of movies funded, 18, 80 million token wallets enabled and live. Uh, this is a projected information, okay? And in Q1 of 2019, the second batch movies funded, 100 million users and tokenized loyalty program. This is what they're aiming to do, okay? This is the projected roadmap. Spool in the news. Now, the seven hottest rivals of Netflix. You don't have to wait for movies to be downloaded to watch them. A Spool lets you watch movies while they're being downloaded in the background. And we can see they've been mentioned by BuzzFeeding News, The Guardian, First Post, Your Story, Financial Express, Daily Post, etc., etc. Now, some of the key partners, Deloitte, Tax and Regulatory company, right? Pinset Masons, it's a legal company and Synopsis Solution, which is a KYC compliance company. And finally, Certic, which is a security company. Let's meet the team. We've got Subin Subaya, the CEO and co-founder of Spol. Also, S. Mohan, who's the chief operation officer and co-founder of Spol as well. We've got some people from India, the CEO, Rajiv Vaidya. And the Chief Financial Officer, Krishanu Singhal. And let's have a look here. We've got the Head of UI and Design. We've got a Blockchain Architect and Developer. So the team is not too big, okay? The team is quite small. I do believe they're going to expand, but uh, they are starting with a small team, but quite strong. I mean, they've got uh, quite some names here and some, some good titles, as we can see here. Uh, let's have a look at the advisory board. So we've got quite a few advisors. We've got seven advisors. Ian Scarf, Roger Lim. I have seen Roger Lim before and he is the founding partner at Neo Global Capital, NGC. So he's one of the advisors. He's actually the executive ICO advisor to Spool. 
Uh, let's move down and see. Collaborative investors, we've got Banana Mana Films, multinational, multi-international award-winning Singapore production company that specializes in creating Asian scripted dramas in English for web TV and film. Tunes Media Group as well. Strategic partners, AWS, Brightcove, Purple Stream, Braintree, a PayPal company, Orange, which is a telecom company. Wow, Vodafone. So they've got quite a lot of partners. Um, right. Yeah, you can follow them on these social media channels. They've got Facebook, Twitter, Telegram, Reddit, LinkedIn, and Medium. I am going to post the link to their Telegram channel in a pinned comment at the end of this video. Okay, just so you guys can have a look if you're interested. Now let's look at their white paper. So I'm, I've looked, I've went directly to the token sale and bonus structure just because I know that's interesting, uh, interesting to a lot of people watching this video. So the Spox crowd sale and token generation event will be done by the Spox Global Foundation Limited, a Singapore incorporated company limited by guarantee and will be issuing the smart contracts running on the Ethereum and later on Ontology's mainnet. So we need to keep in mind that they are an ERC20 token and they will be moving, they'll be migrating to the Ontology mainnet. Funders willing to participate can send Ontology, BTC or Ether to a designated wallet address by the closing dates listed below. By doing so, funders are purchasing SPOX at a rate of $0.08 cents per SPOX. The bonus structure of the sale is listed below. Start and end date, so 28th of June to 15th of July, so that's already been done. 100K US dollars. 100%, 80% uh, was uh, less than $20,000. And in September, we got 20% um, inv of investors which invested more than 100K and 10% which invested less than 20K. As an example, if somebody wishes to buy 100,000 SPOX tokens on the 17th of July 2018, it will cost them 100,000 multiplied by 8 cents, which is $8,000. And the bonus token allo tokens allocated to them would be an extra 60% or 60,000 SPOX tokens. In total, they will receive 160,000 SPOX tokens for $8,000. The SPOX tokens will be deposited into the funder's wallet seven days after the close of the crowd sale. The acceptance, accepted currency during the ICO is Ontology, BTC or Ether. The value of the accepted currency will be calculated on the day and time. The amount is transferred to the wallet of the Spox Foundation and compared to compare the real time converted on the application form. Now the Spox Foundation will be the final arbiter of the price that the accepted currency will be valued at. The soft cap for this ICO will be $5 million. That's how much they're trying to get in their soft cap. The creation will be capped, hard capped, at an equivalent of $12 million. This amount will not be increased. If the hard cap is reached on or before the close date, the token generation event is estimated to be seven days after the limit is reached. If the foundation feels that it has not reached its minimum goal of $5 million, all funds, less than 3% of transaction costs, will be returned to funders. If the crowd sale does not reach its hard limit, the remaining SPOX tokens will be burned by the foundation. And we can see the use of the proceeds as well. So content funding and acquisition 50%, marketing and content promotion 21%, platform software and operations 21%, expenses and contingency 8%. That's a total of 100%, which is estimated at $12 million. So yeah, that's pretty much what it is. So we can see the roadmap here, just like I've already looked at. Some of their competitors, CryptoFlix, Flixo, Lifetree, Vol, Videocoin, and Veracity. I have heard about Veracity before. There's a YouTuber named CryptoCrow which uh, reviewed Veracity. So you guys probably heard about Veracity from him the first time. At least that's where I heard about them. And yes, Pox are trying to do all these different things. For example, uh, token utility. So they've got the platform currency investments, incentives, system, third party purchases, etc. Whereas for Veracity, it's only going to be the platform currency. The blockchain protocol is an Ethereum ERC20. Now it is going to become an ontology token, as we all know. Uh, my guess is it's going to be an OEP8 token because that's what ontology are going to use. 
Okay, I did it start off, I think, with OEP5 at the beginning, but now I believe they're going to upgrade to OEP8. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover about Spox. That's, that's pretty much it. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and if you have any questions, please don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, please subscribe to my video if you're new to my channel, and leave a comment, and uh, sorry, like the video, as always. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy and have a good day.